Hi, my name is Peter Johnson, and I've been working on a project called Life Online. This is an introduction course for students getting, wanting to get prepared for online learning. Let's take a quick tour and see what, what's in this course that's available for you and your students. The fastest way to view the course is to go out to webexplorations.com life online. And here you can see the URL in the browser window. The course is set up with five different modules. And these modules can be used separately or together as one course. In the first module, we look at learning styles and we cover both Desire to Learn as well as Moodle. So depending upon which content management system you use, we have instruction for you. We spend a little time have using learning styles and we use the BARC. Then we jump over on the next module, we have computer skills and we focus on file management, creating files, moving files around, copying files. It seems to be one of the weaknesses of, of many students coming into college. The third module we spend with time management. Then we have a module on getting focused. We, do, we show the students and demonstrate to them with active learning about multitasking. And finally we wrap up the course with using collaborative documents such as Google Docs and spreadsheets. And we show the students how they can work together online in a collaborative environment. Up here in other stuff we have the syllabus. And I outline the course objectives, here's the course requirements, expectations of the students, a quick overview of the instructor, and this is a list of the contents that are in the course are from this group of people. So what we did was we consolidated everybody's work and put it into one, one course. And then here's the learning objectives for each of the areas. Now, depending upon how this course is being used, if it's a self-paced course, it would probably just be done on an individual basis. But this can also be done in a classroom and with assessment. And then you, this is a guideline of different assessments that can be used in the course. The course is completely accessible. It works well on an iPad or an Android tablet. Um, it's not quite ready for the iPhone yet. There's a lot of information and it doesn't show up well on such a small screen. But we're working on that. Also in other stuff, we have a series of to-do lists. These are the short version for each of the modules, showing the students what they have to do. We have two intro uh, tutorials to eFolio. And here's the best part. We put together a journal as a PDF document and this allows the student to do reflective thinking and reflective learning and track what they're learning as they go through the modules. And I'll show you each of these as we take a peek at the modules. So let's look at the first module. We'll go into styles. We tell the students what the objectives are and we introduce the concept of WIIFM. And this is a radio station that all of us listen to and it comes down to what's in it for me. And if the students understand why this information is important, 
their brains will have a much um, more a greater tendency to absorb it and re and retain it. And then we take the students through a series of learning activities. So we we have them do various things. Here we, we have them uh, get a flash drive, install Firefox, sign up for Gmail, and wherever there's a purple box, that goes back to the journal entry. So here's our journal entry, and here's the site organizer. So this is saying, use your site organizer on page two to keep track of your user IDs and passwords. This is a real stumbling block for new students that are learning. They, 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 they're overwhelmed by all the user IDs and passwords. So we have this nice convenient form where they can track these things and, and refer to them often until they get more versed in the online environment. This is an interesting activity. We have the students read this poem by Rilke and it, and it describes of how they look at something in the future. And then we have a learning activity where they literally write a letter to themselves in the future and they post that in the journal. Now when I teach I have them read through the poem in class and then they jot down notes here and then I give them note cards and envelopes. They write down a, a, a note to themselves knowing that I'm going to send it to them three to six months in the future. So they write their address on the envelope, seal it all up, and then I, I take it with me and, and mail it to them in the future. So we take the student through all the different various learning activities. Here we split off for D2L, and you can see we have videos, we have text, and we address all the learning styles. And this is the same format used with all of the modules. One of the most important skills for online learning, of course, is typing. So we take them out to the typing web and have them start practicing their typing and show them how to, how to practice effectively by just doing 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night. Now, as we were putting the course together, we discovered that being focused turns out to be a really, really important attribute. So instead of putting it all in one module on being focused, we've spread it out. And every module, the students are asked to take two or three items from this list of 65 and incorporate that in their life. And then in their journal, they write down how this changed their life or didn't change their life. Sometimes these things don't work for people. So at least they'll find that out. By the end of the course, they've incorporated six to eight of these different focus activities to uh, help them get focused. And it's items that they've chosen, not that the instructor has given them. So they look at this list and they, they, they'll pick up two or three things from here. Each module automatically goes on to the next. So as they finish the learning activities, it automatically moves them on to the next module. Now, you may be interested in taking some of these learning objects and learning activities and incorporating those into your own course without having the whole Life Online course to uh, have your students go through. Well, we've taken all of our learning objects and we've put them out on the Minnesota Learning Commons repository. And here you can see the address. Here's the web address. It's equella dot Minnesota Learning Commons dot org MNLC slash access and that should get you there but you might want to type in home dot do you won't need the question mark once you get out to the Minnesota Learning Commons then you can just type in life online and you'll see two entries so this is the actual course, and you can link into this directly if you'd like to, 
although you can see right here that the URL is pretty long. Or you can go into this second option here, view more details. And this is all this, the pieces of the Life Online. So here is all the modules. This is a zip file. You can download it, unzip it, and then take the pieces that you want to use in your own course. Here's some notes on how to use that, a handout, um, a suggested syllabus, so you can modify the syllabus any way you want. We have frequently asked questions as well as a tutorial. So this will take you right through. It'll show you how to add courses to your Moodle as well as to your D2L. So again, we'll go back to the Minnesota Learning Commons repository do a search for Life Online, and then the individual pieces you can extract out of, out of the repository. All of the pages and the materials that we use in Life Online are all done using basic HTML and CSS. There's no fancy programming, there's no PHP, everything is kept very plain vanilla, so a majority of people that understand HTML and CSS can easily adapt the materials for their own use. So, check out Life Online. This is an open resource available for everybody. You can use it as part of your first year experience. You can use it as a prefix to any of your classes. Um, if you find students that are having trouble, you can just point them to Life Online. And again, the address is webexplorations.com slash lifeonline.